Hi guys, welcome to Night School, the playlist that helps you to improve at Age of Empires 2. So we're looking at build orders today and what we're looking at in particular is the fast castle into wood based unique unit. So we're using the Vietnamese as an example in this particular scenario. So the reason I chose Vietnamese is purely because they don't have a particular civ bonus, they have some uh, to do with the uh, wood research but um, apart from that um, they're a pretty steady choice so usual start really make your two houses with your three starting villages send them to sheep and then your first three villages to come out will go to the sheep so you've got six uh, villages on sheep and then your next four villages will go to wood with a lumber camp So this is uh, quite a decent build order to use for civilizations like the Mayans. So you will have to wall up your base if possible. Um, if you are going to use it with Mayans, and well, with any of the civilizations to be fair, um, unless you're playing a, a closed map. If you're playing Ar uh, Arabia, you're going to want to make sure you wall your map up, otherwise you're going to struggle if the enemy comes on the attack. So we're, we're playing against the hard AI, uh, just because I didn't want to make it too challenging for the tutorial. <laughs> um, so let's see how it goes. So once you've got your four villages on wood, the next villager to come out is going to go and lure a boar. And all this time just keep scouting your map trying to find your sheep. So the next villager to come out after this one is going to go and make two houses and then go to berries. And then the next uh, three villagers to come out are also going to go to berries and make a mill. Okay, so the next villager to come out is going to lure the second boar and then the next one after that is going to go to berries as well. Let's speed this up a little bit. As I say, the next villager is going to go to berries and then the next villager is going to go to collect from the boar. So at this point you want to be taking your two weakened villages and making two farms. The next five villages to come out are going to go to wood. They're going to make a second lumber camp on a, uh, a different wood line. So they're going to go over here and make a lumber camp. So the reason why we're doing that is just so that it's a bit more efficient rather than having nine lumberjacks all around this one lumber camp and uh, bumping into each other they'll end up sort of chopping wood from these far ends so they'll have further to walk so it's just making things a little bit more efficient so even though you've spent 100 wood on making the second lumber camp you should get that back um, and more okay so I'll just speed it up again so once your ball runs out just send all those villages to collect from the sheep and start just gradually moving the sheep over to where they are. Again, just keep scouting the map as well, uh, so you know where the enemy base is thanks to the um, Vietnamese Civ bonus, but um, by this point you want to have found where they are anyway, and um, just keep scouting the base. So the next two villages to come out have gone to gold, and the next two to come out are going to go to stone. Then we're going to research loom, and then we're going to click up to the feudal age. So 
we're going to start thinking about moving some of these villages from sheep to make farms. So, so there's the first one coming down. So we'll just do it gradually. Uh, but we're also going to send two of those remaining villages from the sheep and send them to stone, giving us a total of four on stone. And then these final three, once that sheep's run out, we'll make uh, farms as well. So as you can see, I've done quite a bit of scouting around the enemy base. I generally know where all his resources are, so I know where to go and attack when I get there. So I'll speed it up again. So when we get to the uh, feudal age, what we're going to do is take three villages from wood and immediately make a blacksmith and a market. So the market will be made with two villages, the blacksmith will be made with one. I'm going to send two new villages over to stone, so that's going to give us a total of six on stone. But the reason we need two villages on the market is just because the market takes pretty much twice as long to make than the blacksmith. So hopefully by the time the blacksmith's made, the market's done and these two villages have come out, uh, they should all be around the same time and we'll have enough resources to click straight up to get to the castle age. Just making a house as well because we're at 30 population out of 30. Um, but we are on the way up now. So whilst you're going up to the castle age, you're going to want to look at making double bit axe and horse collar. And once your berries run out, we're going to be sending three of those um, villages to wood and two of them to gold. Just getting it all lined up for that uh, wood based unit unit production. Again, I shall speed the game up, just because there's not much else happening at this point. And just keep scouting around your enemy base just to see what they're doing. Um, but we're just going to start moving those villages from stone now. We're about to get into the castle age, get them into position as to where we want the castle going. And in this instance, we want it protecting that gold. Move them over and then you can immediately drop the castle once you've got into the castle age. Uh, for now, send your next... Uh, probably four or five villages over to uh, the gold and you're going to want to start looking at getting some of the blacksmith research um, done so we've got fletching coming in and we've also got the um, armor upgrade coming in um, but you're also going to want to look at making a university and researching ballistics so there's there's 500 wood there just in ballistics and the um, universities so that's why we've got quite a lot floating in the bank I mean some of that is to do with the uh, bonus that the Vietnamese have as well but we're going to need that and we're also going to start looking at getting some town centers down but that's pretty much it for the build order at this point we're going to start wanting to start getting some farms down as well soon um, getting your, um, your next lumber camp upgrade as well um, once your castle's done, just send those back to stone so you can start looking at getting town centres in. So I do actually do it in the wrong order. Rather than making a university, I make a town centre first. <laughs> um, but I'll get there in the end. All I did was just delay my um, <coughs> ballistics research a little bit. But it's fine. We're going to start making farms now as well. They could potentially have made that university with two villages as well, so perhaps take one off the stone to make it just to speed it up because it takes quite a while to build. Um, when you've got enough food and gold, make um, do do the research for Bodkin Arrow as well, but probably going to be struggling for, for uh, food and gold to be able to do that for a little while yet. Um, cause just because we've still got to make the. Uh, Farms. You see, I'm making the uh, making the town centre there, and then all these farms start to expire. So I couldn't research uh, <laughs> couldn't research ballistics just yet. But um, 
you know, you live and learn. But as you can see, we've got quite a few of the uh, rattan archers together now, so we're going to go on the attack. Bodkin arrows coming in now as well. So we should have almost all of the upgrades that we need at this point. Certainly once ballistics comes in. You can just go in and do some raiding. So this is where ballistics would have been handy because I've, I've missed so many shots there. Um, but that's it. Thankfully, against the skirmishes, the Rattan archers are still pretty strong. Uh, they're not as, as, as vulnerable to skirmishes as archers are. But that's it for today and this build order. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.